we're starting building the brooder. Now we already have a brooder box that goes inside, but this is the enclosure we're working on. As you know, little chicks like to group together, and when you have a large number of them, if they go into a corner, whoever gets stuffed into the corner can get smothered. We don't want that to happen, so we're building an oval enclosure to go around the the brooder that we're going to have. And you'll see how that goes, but we're going to start doing the cutting here. We're going to we have some harvested wall boards uh, paneling out of our house. We're going to cut them at 24 inches so that the sides are going to be 24 inches and then we'll put them together. We'll show you how that goes in just a jiffy. And we jiffy. have definitely done this before. It's extremely successful. Yes, this works very well. So we'll show you the construction as it goes. We're ready to fasten the enclosure pieces together. So we've got two together. We got a board on top, board on the bottom. So they're going to essentially clamp this these pieces together. And I'm going to run these screws in them. I'm going to alternate side to side so we catch the uh, panel and then clamp it down in. First one's up, ready to go. Now we're going to put the second one on. Let's see how that goes. This is half of the circle. Half the circle. Nothing. I'm thinking that that is still the best. Okay, here you go. This is our Ohio brooder. We take it apart because we, when moving it, it was a lot easier to move it in pieces like this. So we'll show you what it takes to put this together, but I'll explain it a little bit to begin with here. As you can see, I got this electric cord. Got a plug on the end. We have a light socket here that we put a heat lamp into. We've got one that will be on both sides. You'll see that as we go. Um, we've got this raised up. Can't remember the number of inches. If it's like four, four inches four right inches. there from, from this to this. This is like t t 10 wow. or 12. It depends on what you want to do. This is set down a little way so that what we have is, is about a one foot space when we begin with that there'll be a lid on and it keeps the temperature in there about 95 degrees. Each week we'll put a 2 by 4 90, under the... keeps it at 90. At 90, 90 to 95. Yeah. Each week we will put a 2 before, an additional 2 before under here that this rests on all four corners and it will raise it up a little bit, lowers the temperature. But the chicks can come and go out into the cooler out area here. anytime that they want. There will be food inside, food and water outside, food and water inside, both so they can have it as they come and go. It's quite an awesome setup. It's called the Ohio Brooder. It was uh, originally designed in the 1940s at Ohio State, at THE Ohio State. At THE State. Ohio State University. <laughs> anyway, it works extremely well. We have made the side out of um, outside paneling, so it's very sturdy. It holds up really, really well. Okay. This is our third or fourth time to use it. Um, I think that's our fourth. Fourth time. We actually don't normally take it apart. We store it together, but we took it apart to move it so it would not get broke. Mm -hmm. 
We have a lid that goes on the top that he's got to repair one of the handles for. The nice thing about this is you can have one or both lights on. Okay, show the handle. There's the handles that we've made. He just made a new one out of barn wood. It'll never break. We're not saying square. No. I didn't say square. Yeah. There. Ta-da! So now when we want to look at the chicks, it's just a matter of we come over here and we can pick this up. We can also in. prop it. We prop it with a stick under there. So here we go. Peek at them. We, we can also look at them. We can choose to add it to their food, clean their water. Works well. And then all we do is we take a two by four under each corner under each corner and raise it up each another week. one each week pretty cool so they came at six in the morning and we were going to have lots of help and everybody's asleep and so it may just be us but we're going to see if we can get some other people up to help us because we have a hundred chicks and really noisy bantams in the background <laughs> see what i mean Thank you. 